All right, welcome back. It's time for another mailbag. Replying to comments, answering some questions. Let's get into it. When is Aquarius coming out? Whenever I have more time to do it. I have been extremely short on time with things going on lately. I've had at least one or two appointments a week that I've had to go to, and one I have to get to right after I finish recording this. I've also had my mother come up to visit from Florida, so that's taken a few days. So as soon as things settle down, which will hopefully be towards the end of the month, then I can begin recording the next astrology installment, which is always a longer video. So I'm hoping soon. And thanks for the question. Why not make a servitor and or call on the planetary intelligence of Mercury to attack those making false copyright claims? I just don't default and resort to attacking people with magic. And it's a decent amount of work to put into a servitor for such a specific purpose that I wouldn't need all that often. You know, some people attack others with magic right from the get-go, which I've always advocated against. And those companies may be making a false copyright claim for music that they don't own, but neither do I. I don't own it. That particular intro I've licensed. I have the rights to use it, but I don't own it. So attacking someone for claiming something that I don't even own just doesn't seem right to me. Now, if they claimed it and I actually owned it to where I wrote it and recorded it, produced it, etc., well, that may be different. But as it stands, I win these cases anyway. They always drop the claim. So there's no real point in doing magic against them anyway. And it's not even really them. It's the content ID system. They've put their claim in the content ID system, and the content ID system matches it up. So it's more of a YouTube issue than the actual companies doing it, because YouTube allows them to put false copyright claims in their content ID system. Also, the thing you need to understand is that My way isn't always the best way, meaning I look at obstacles and adversity much differently than I used to. I now look at them as opportunities to do better. In fact, one of the thought forms that I have active is that anytime I have an issue, I come out ahead. I come out much better for it. In fact, a lot of the improvements that you see me make on this channel, in my videos, my website, eventually getting a Facebook account, etc., We're all born out of obstacles and adversity. I just found a different way and a better way of doing things. So if they're going to battle me over my old intro, I'll just create a new intro. And hopefully it'll be better. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But I always have that opportunity to improve. And I appreciate the question. Thank you. Okay, so this one's a much longer one, so I'm just going to cut to the meat of the matter. This was on one of the older polarity videos. How can we escape the real-life consequences of right versus wrong, just versus unjust, truth versus lies? Are we not forced to pick sides? Okay, so here's the thing you need to know about polarity. Both sides think they're right. Both sides think they're just. Both sides think they're truth. And you're one of them. And it's easy to tell from your comment and your question that you yourself are polarized. Oh, what about right and wrong? What about truth and justice? I see a lot of injustice justified to do injustice these days. See, nobody ever thinks that they're the evil guy. They never think they're the bad guy. They never think that they're wrong, nor do they ever think that they're on the side of wrong. I think even the character Negan said it in The Walking Dead that nobody ever thinks that they're the evil one. So when I say that polarity is two sides of the same coin, that's exactly what it is. Communism is just as bad as fascism. They are both extreme polarities. If you want to pick a side, pick a side. I'm just telling you that polarity is easy to manipulate and control, to attract or repel. It's a magnetic force. Polarity itself is natural. It's not a bad thing. But just be aware that you're easily moved when polarized. And I appreciate the question. Thanks. I am a lifelong armchair occultist, Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, Mercury, and Scorpio, all in the first house. A few years ago, Sun Goddess had reached out to myself and my husband, She said something about looking for a mystery school to move on to the next step. I randomly searched YouTube for mystery school. The first thing that came up was this channel. It's been some time now, and my husband 
is now a Kabbalist and I now actively follow a hoodoo path, thanks to Freighter X. I would have never followed my Scorpio without him. Now we have a solid business model with the help of his programs. I very much wish to express my thanks to Freighter and his support system for kicking me in the butt the right way. I would thank you so much. I do appreciate that. As I've said before, those who are meant to find it will find these videos. And thank you so much for sharing your success story. You have taught me more in a few months than all my evangelical pastors all my life. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, that's because the evangelicals only know one thing. Jesus. And they take the Bible literally, refusing to see all the symbolism within. I will take it as a compliment, as I know it was meant as such. But it does remind me that's a sad state of affairs, where pastors and people in those positions actually teach very little. And I do appreciate the comment. Thank you. God Forms is the program that is going to teach you the long-standing esoteric practice of the assumption of God Forms, something that the magical lodges and orders have been using to great effect forever. If you want unlimited confidence in whatever you're doing, God Forms is the program for you. God Forms is a three-part MP3 audio program with a total running time of 90 minutes. I'm going to be explaining what God Forms are, how to assume them, and how they're related to your will. How assuming God Forms is the magic of choice when you're on the go and away from home. How to charm others with God Forms. How to take elemental control of an entire room. How to assume into the highest version of yourself and have communication with your holy guardian angel. All this and so much more is included in the God Forms program. You can get God Forms and other Mind and Magic programs over at mindandmagic.com today. Got time for a couple more. Speaking of voice, don't take this as a negative comment. When I first heard your voice, it sounded like you used to smoke and drink whiskey or hard liquor. I could tell you overcame a lot of adversity. Meant well because I have too. Yeah, I wasn't a whiskey drinker, but I was a serious smoker. And not so much when I was recording, but prior to that, I mean, I smoked for almost three decades and had a lot to clear out. And, you know, I did have some lung issues because of it. I was put on a steroid inhaler medication. And the thing about steroid inhalers is it makes your voice cut out. So I had to cut down to the lowest dosage inhaler. And instead of taking it in the morning and in the evening, I just take it in the evening so that my voice doesn't cut out as much all day. Now, as for the tonality of my voice, having sinus surgery changed that. But sure, my voice has better days than others. It's actually a little rough today, but like I said, my mom was up visiting, so we've been talking quite a bit, so my voice is a little bit on the rough side today. But no, I don't take offense to it. I mean, it is what it is. And I appreciate the comment. Thanks. I have so much gratitude when listening to these to the point where I'm emotionally bursting with joy. These videos remind me how far I've come as well as my family since I was led to your channel. These programs work as well as the free content. In fact, I bought the program separate instead of the bundle to support. Thank you so much, FX. And thank you. I do appreciate all of your support as well as congratulate you on your success. And that's all the time I have for today. It's a bit shorter one. But as I said, I have been slammed. I'm trying to keep up on pace. And to do so, I have to shave a few minutes off somewhere. I want to thank you for watching. Social media links are to follow. And I'll see you soon. Take care.